press the power button of the machine to turn it on. Click on Settings, select WLAN On. Choose the one that can be connected. Enter the password to connect. The machine and the mobile phone need to be connected to the same wireless network. Open the AlgoLaser app, connect to the machine. Click on the upper right corner and then click Add Address and enter the IP address shown on the wireless network. After the connection is successful, the screen of the machine will display mobile phone connection and control in progress. Now you can use your mobile phone to control the machine. We open the AlgoLaser app and click on device to enter the connection. Password entry in progress. Next, we need to press the on button five times in quick succession. V until the light flashes white. Click next and wait for the connection to be successful. I recommend homing the machine once when it has finished carving. A piece or before it is ready to carve. This helps the machine to retain a memory of the position. At the top, we can find the position and status of the machine. The distance moved can be set to 4 stops from 0.1 to 50 millimeters. Unlock is often used to unlock the machine after an abnormal interruption. Carving page. We offer a choice of default images, album selection, text output, history of engraved files, and more. For example, internally, there is a carving test NC file built in which cannot be tweaked, but only works as written in the file. We can drag the position of the NC file, but we can't modify the engraving content or size. We can click on preview interface. We can also access the console from the engraving page at any time to check the status of the machine and control its movement. Next up are some QR codes, puzzles, and homemade business card features. Users can enter content to get an engraved file. I recommend the drawing feature, where users can make simple creations, be it pictures or handwriting. Let's take the example of engraving a cardboard sheet for engraving. We chose a photo of library for our demonstration. We can adjust various parameters to select the desired effect. You can also crop or flip, select a filter. Go to the preview page. We can adjust the size, set the position, adjust the brightness of the photo and other parameters. Similarly, when you click on the icon frame, it will move along the edge of the engraved file.
We can click on the button in the upper right corner of the frame to make it slightly faster. If it comes to engraving MDF boards, then even previewing the laser at 2% may leave a mark. And we need smaller lasers that are easy to see without damaging the material. We can likewise manually adjust the engraving material to check the position again. Regarding mode, if you need to engrave, I recommend choosing scan. Some people prefer to go with dot. They both do a good job of engraving images. Direction. Recommend defaulting to left-right movement. As the x-axis is the most stable, the latter two options are for certain creations. It's very important to make selections according to the parameters you need. I've provided some references. Please refer to them accordingly. Let's click Start. Next, we demonstrate how to cut. Moving into Draw, we demonstrate by creating a graphic. You can create as many shapes as you need. I chose a heart and a circle. Remember, images cannot be cut. You have to choose the line class for vector images. Select vector, it has three modes. I demonstrate cutting and cutting. First, we need to cut the outline. Then we fill the engraved interior. Adjust the position again, then go to the settings page. We confirm the cutting parameters by selecting the material according to the contents of the parameter table. 